ATF kids, it's Amy, and I am excited to offer you a craft and a video countdown for the New Year's. So here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to do a party popper where you can pop out some Happy New Year stuff, and we're going to be using some toilet paper rolls, or this is a paper towel roll that you can cut down. We're going to have scissors a balloon, some scrap paper, and just any type of tape. So we're gonna get all this stuff together and I'm gonna show you step by step how to make this party popper for a New Year's celebration that you guys can do at home. And like I said, we're gonna also have a countdown for your parents to put on so you can do a happy New Year's together with us as TFBC church family. So stick around, I'm excited to see this finished craft. Okay guys, so we're gonna walk through how to make this party popper at home. Like I said before, all you're gonna need is a cardboard tube of some sort. This one is from a paper towel roll, but you can use a toilet paper roll or even the inside of wrapping papers if you have any left over from Christmas. So you're also gonna need a pair of scissors, any type of paper. It can be construction paper, uh, lined paper from school. I even saw somebody cut up some candy, like oil wrappers and use it for this some type of tape and a balloon. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to, since this is a larger roll, we're gonna cut it down to a smaller size, about the size of a toilet paper roll would be best. Remember kids, if you are doing this at home, have somebody there as adult to help you because these are sharp. They're scissors, we don't cut each other, we only cut what we're supposed to cut. So we've cut this down. And now we have to make the part with the balloon that's gonna actually do the popping. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of stretch this balloon. Now, if you kind of cut it in the wrong place, it could rip, so be prepared to have a backup balloon if needed. Now, this is something you might need adults to help you with as well, is we gotta tie the end close to the edge as possible. So now I have tied it like I would if I actually had blown it up. So Instead of blowing it up, I'm going to come to the very tippity tippity top up here and I'm going to cut a little line in it. And what I've done, you can kind of see that, it's got a little slit in it. Then I'm gonna also give it a little cut the opposite way. I'm kind of doing a plus mark on the inside. Now again, have somebody adult to help you. This is kind of tricky, this part get some help. So I've kind of opened it up to where I now have a hole in the top of my balloon. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to open up the balloon and I'm gonna stretch it over the top. Just like that. And what did I tell you? It would rip. So we're going to do it again. So when it's okay, we'll try it again. You just gotta be super duper careful. Little bit on the side to give it a little give. All right, now that we've got the opening, we're just gonna kind of open it up like that. Again, this part is tricky, so we can always ask for help if we need it we're gonna slide it over the toilet paper roll. Now, once I've kind of got it on there, you can see where it's kind of just hugging it. See how it is? It's kind of wrapped around it. And it's not gonna stay there, okay? That's why we need some tape. So I've got some fun neon green tape here at the church. I'm gonna borrow some of that. And I'm just gonna take some and I will snip it off. It's about four inches so far what I've cut. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run some tape around the balloon. One, it's gonna make it decorative, it's gonna make it look cool. But now it's also going to hold the balloon on. So I'm kind of just rubbing it down, squeezing it, making sure it is secure. Okay, so we've got our start for it. And see, you'll be able to pull this. Now, the cool thing about it is when you add whatever paper in here, it's when you pull back and let go, this part of the balloon is gonna snap up and it's gonna throw everything out. So for this, I am just using some construction paper. I had some construction paper here at the church. 
So I went ahead and I cut some little pieces down like so. So you can just come in here, cut them into little pieces, kind of like party confetti, like whenever you throw things in the air for parties. Now, Izzy had some little flowers at home that were like this big. So she was actually doing this the other day with those flowers and it worked just as well. So you can kind of practice with this. However, kids, let me go ahead and tell you, this will make a mess. So please don't make a huge mess at your family's house and leave it on the floor. You need to make sure you clean up after yourself. So now it's all ready to go. Now, if you wanted to color this up here with markers or crayons or something that you have at home just to make it more decorative, maybe write 2021 on there. I don't know, make it festive. But now you're ready to go and you can party on New Year's Eve. And that's how you make this. Now, one thing you gotta understand, sometimes it pops back in there and you might have to just take something, push it back out carefully, maybe, and then it comes right back out. And you can reload it up and do it again. Okay guys, I hope you had a lot of fun making your New Year's Eve party poppers. So we put this video out a few days before New Year's Eve, that way you had plenty of time to make it. And maybe if you have like a couple people in the house, you have plenty of time to make extras for everybody. So on New Year's Eve, during the day, we're gonna put out a countdown video for you guys to enjoy at home as a family with your brand new party poppers. Now it's gonna have basically just a normal countdown, but it's gonna help us ring in the new years. Now guys, I know that 2020 has been tough on a lot of people. I mean, you guys didn't go to school a lot last year. You had to do school at home, but you know what? But when the clock strikes midnight and we, it turns into 2021, everything isn't gonna be back to normal. We're gonna still have the same problems that we have now. But you know what the one thing that hasn't changed and isn't gonna change, and that is who we serve. It's Jesus. We've been talking about him all month of December, and we're gonna keep talking about him into the new year because that is the one thing that will never change in our life is his love for us. So as you guys welcome in 2021, I am praying that you have a fantastic year and you make Jesus your priority in your heart. I love you guys and I cannot wait to celebrate the new years with you. See you soon.